Teenagers can now trade stocks in a first of its kind move. Fidelity Investments is lowering the age to enter the stock market. Local financial professional Brad Allen from Drake and Associates are joining us to discuss this really interesting move and really what this means for the future of finance. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great, Brad. Let's start by talking about first how these accounts work for teens to start getting into the finance world. Yeah, you know, Fidelity is allowing uh, teenagers whose, whose parents already have accounts with Fidelity to, to open an account where they could have their own stocks or mutual funds or ETFs. You know, the world is kind of at their finger their fingertips at that point. And um, yeah, it's pretty neat to see. You know, a lot of younger people are starting to get into investing a little bit more. There's a lot of great technology out there, a lot of great apps that they can use. And I'll tell you what, we've had some time on our side uh, over the past year where you really couldn't do a whole lot, couldn't go a lot of places. And that gave everybody an opportunity to kind of take a look at investing and, and, and where could I use my stimulus money? Could I put it into the market? And certainly it helps that we see it on the news all the time about different stocks that are doing well or a lot of cryptocurrency and, and, and those kind of things right now. So it's getting younger folks in, interested in investing and that's really important. For this one in particular, you're talking about like a debit card type access that this teen would have uh, to putting money in the stock market. But obviously we saw with Robinhood, people are using these apps in so many different ways. So why do you think we are seeing more young people investing in stocks? Well, I think the, the technology is there. You know, we live in an era of technology and, and investing in the market has always been a, a hard thing for younger folks coming out of college or even before college to try to dive into. It was just really complicated. And nowadays there's a lot of great videos that make it easy online that you can learn how to invest. You can look at what stocks are doing well, how to read charts, those kind of things. And like you said, there's a lot of great tools, a lot of great apps that just make it easy and pretty inexpensive. You know, the, the cost is very low. The fees are pretty low for some of these accounts. So it is drawing a lot of interest from the younger generation to say, okay, the market's doing pretty well. You know, you see it on the news, the Dow and the S&P are hitting record high, record high. And yeah, it went down last year a little bit, but we've seen such growth where there's a lot of interest right now. And I think the earlier you can start saving for things like retirement or those kind of things, the better off you're going to be later on. But we on do have to be realistic there, right? Sometimes it's hard to put that first dollar into something we don't really know what it's going to do. So what is something concrete that people, young people especially, can do when considering investing? What are really those first steps toward a plan? So whether you're young or you're in retirement, you want to have a purpose. Have a purpose for what are these dollars for? Do you want to buy a car in three years? Do you want to save it for a house after school? Or is this a retirement account that you're putting money into for later on in life? And and the reason to have that purpose is you can build a plan around that purpose. If the, if the goal is for later on in life, well, you can be super aggressive with that money early on because if it goes down, it will come back up. But if you need that money three years from now for, for a car, you wanna be a little bit more conservative because if the market goes down, you need it a little bit sooner, you can't afford to lose that money. So having that purpose, creating that plan and then managing the risk and making sure that that's aligned with your plan is, is really the best step that you can take. And whether you do that and your parents help you out or, or a financial advisor is a great you know person to utilize and you know just start planning that out to see what are my goals and what am I trying to accomplish here. Certainly practice makes perfect. We may not be perfect investors, but practice at least gets us somewhere. Brad Allen, thank you so much uh, for all your tips. We'll have those on fox6now.com. Thank you.